It goes without saying that artificial intelligence is reshaping society and the environment around us in almost every sector. Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google, recently voiced his concerns about artificial intelligence, saying that if used improperly, the technology might be very harmful. I cannot tell you more about that. Tell us your darkest thoughts. My darkest thoughts are that humans will eventually be replaced by robots. I think that humans will be replaced because robots will eventually be faster, stronger, and more intelligent. Today we're going to discuss the warning given by the CEO. Sundar Pichai wrote a thorough blog post outlining the company's guiding principles for AI. The article makes it abundantly apparent that Google will not employ their AI technology to create weapons or extensive surveillance networks. Pichai's article on the fundamentals of AI was published at the same time that Google is coming under fire from inside its own ranks. Life. However, he also acknowledges that AI is not a panacea and that its application will bring up equally powerful questions about its use. The Google CEO continues by saying that because his business is the industry leader in AI, it has a deep responsibility to get this right. Google will base its work and research on a total of seven guiding principles. According to Pichai, these guidelines are concrete standards which will govern our research and product development and have an impact on our business decisions, not just abstract ideas. According to the company's AI guidelines, Google's AI initiatives are intended to bring about social benefits while being vigilant about avoiding the creation or perpetuation of unfair biases. Their AI systems are rigorously tested for safety, accountable to people, and incorporate privacy principles into their design. Furthermore, Google upholds the highest standards of scientific excellence in its AI development. The seventh principle stipulates that AI deployment must align with the preceding six principles, and Google will also assess when to make these emerging technologies accessible for non-commercial purposes. The blog post also emphasizes that Google is committed to refraining from developing AI technologies that have the potential to cause widespread harm, including weaponry or systems that directly enable harm to individuals. Furthermore, Google will not permit the application of its AI technology in surveillance activities that go against internationally accepted standards. The company is resolute in ensuring that its AI is not employed in contravention of principles rooted in international law and human rights. Mr. Pichai stated that the negative aspects of AI give him sleepless nights in an interview with CBS's 60 Minutes and asked for new laws to control AI. If used incorrectly, it can be really damaging because we don't yet have all the answers and technology is developing quickly. Does that mean I can't sleep at night? Certainly, he replied. Mr. Pichai responded, You know, there are two ways I think about it when asked if society is ready for what to come. On one hand, I feel no because, you know, there seems seems to be a mismatch between the speed at which society as a whole can understand and adapt and the speed at which technology is developing. However, compared to any other technology, I've noticed more people expressing concern about it early in the technology's life cycle. I'm therefore optimistic. The amount of individuals, you know, who are beginning to worry about the ramifications and as a result, serious conversations are also beginning. Additionally, he stated that the technology will impact every product across every company. He said, knowledge workers, including authors, accountants, architects, and paradoxically, software engineers. When asked about the types of jobs that would be impacted, society must quickly adapt with the regulations for AI in the economy, laws to punish abuse, and treaties among nations to make AI safe for the world. The Google CEO continued, and I believe that we need to exercise great caution. And as time goes on, I believe that society will need to address each of these issues. A firm should not make this decision, Mr. Pichai added. Deepfake videos are one of the dangers of generative AI that Pichai addressed. The production of deepfake videos that hurt society must have repercussions. Microsoft-backed OpenAI's ChatGPT, which was released last year, has encouraged competitors to produce comparable solutions and businesses to incorporate it or related technologies into their apps and products. In a recent blog post, Bill Gates, a co-founder of Microsoft, referred to the advancement of AI as the most significant technological achievement in decades. 
AI is a highly disruptive innovation in the 21st century that has gotten a lot of attention from professionals and academics. AI offers numerous and previously unheard of prospects for significant enhancements and fundamental changes in a variety of industries. Amazing things like driverless vehicles, face recognition payment, guide robots, etc. are now possible because of disruptive technology. The development of smart services and the promotion of digital transformation are particularly how AI breathes new life into digital business. When businesses strive to execute digital-first strategy, AI is currently viewed as one of the top five developing technologies. Due to the rising maturity and accessibility of AI technology, it is expected that 70% of organizations will create AI architectures by the year 2021. Undoubtedly, the AI era is among us. Many scholars in the relevant domains have recently become interested in AI. Numerous researchers have explored the utilization of AI in various settings, including fields such as information systems, tourism and hospitality, marketing, and financial management. The outcomes of these studies suggest that AI holds the capacity to transform the dynamics of engagement between organizations and customers, yielding substantial business advantages such as enhanced efficiency, heightened effectiveness, and reduced costs. Despite the numerous possible advantages, it's essential to acknowledge that AI also carries substantial adverse outcomes. We can't solely focus on the appealing prospects of AI, as noted by Florida et al. It underscores the significant risk that AI may pose on individual, organizational, and societal levels. These three dimensions are particularly crucial in the context of digitalization. Given the context of our special issue, our primary focus will be on exploring the negative aspects of AI in electronic markets. When looking at AI from an individual standpoint, the adverse impacts primarily manifest in areas like privacy apprehensions, content suggestions, and product recommendations within electronic markets. To start with, AI possesses the capability to glean extensive insights about consumers, potentially heightening privacy concerns, as noted by Grewal et al. For instance, as highlighted by Dixon, voice assistants such as Alexa can employ AI technology to predict when a customer's current relationship might end by analyzing their voice patterns. Additionally, because of the fact that a person's face contains a great deal of personal information, such as their look, age, gender, and more, facial recognition payments can come with privacy hazards. According to a recent study, consumers are hesitant to accept similar technologies since personalized recommendations cause perceived privacy concerns. That's all about today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon to get notified about our upcoming videos. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below.